Colby, call me, because I, I just said <laughs> not Rosho. Hold on, hold on, skip, skip, skip. Not yeah. Rosho yeah, Nostarovich. I, I didn't want to go there. Not Slava Medvedenko, uh, yeah, okay, okay, and certainly not Kwame <laughs> Brown. How do you think Kwame Brown feels when you say Kwame? His do I get to was... answer this, or is these, are these rhetorical sure, questions? Sure, go ahead. Do I get to answer it, or are they just rhetorical questions? Go ahead. Let me tell you something right now. Kwame, all right, I'm going to tell you why I say Kwame Brown or Rosho the Slava, Slava Medvedenko. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because you're Kwame Brown. You're seven feet tall. You're the number one overall draft pick, okay? You come into this league, you came in without a jump shot. You came in without the ability to rebound. You came in without the ability to do nice footwork, to pass, to rebound, to defend, to score points, or whatever the case may be. And it's a decade later, and you're still that dude. You've never worked and put forth your due diligence in order to take advantage of the privilege opportunity that you were in. And when I see that level of consistency, consistency as it pertains to an aptitude, I'm going to call somebody out. If a dude is playing like garbage, you don't sit there and point out he's playing like garbage? Of course I do. You don't I sit do, there and but, point out how but, he's but not the, living up to expectation? I don't want to get away from what we're talking about because th that's that's what makes this Oh, great. I'm staying I on the point. I'm right here. But I'm there, right here. there's a difference between reporting what you see in the box score at the game or calling someone a scrub. Like, if I make... But he the, is a well, scrub. Not if he's a scrub. No, no, you know no. it. I, I, Kwame Brown may be a scrub compared to Shaquille O'Neal. And if he's able to maintain one of those jobs for 10 years, there's no way he could be a scrub. Relatively, he's a scrub. No. What? There, no, he what? can't be. Are you, if, did if, you if, just if, say if, that with if, a straight if, face? If, if he... Did do, you do, just say do, that with a straight do you face? Guys, do you guys realize that somebody's paying him millions of dollars to play basketball? Unfortunately, they are. Jalen, okay. answer my and question. Why, why do you think? Why, why do you think? Why, you, why do you think the guy that's 10 through 15 on the bench is able to have Jaylen, a long career? Answer my question. He's got to have some Jaylen, skill set. Right? 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 They're saying Jaylen relative Rowe. to the other players, Stephen A's not going to stop till you answer it. So hello, go ahead, Stephen A. Hello, hello, Jalen. Jalen Rose. Star, All-American in high school, played in the finals, can ball. You trying to tell me that you don't know a scrub when you see a scrub? I you absolutely. You're trying to tell me I that everybody in the NBA can play? Are you sitting there with a straight face who, and you're who, saying to me uh, that right, everybody it, it, who, who in the NBA can play? Who are we comparing them to? Who, like, who are we comparing them to? I'm just saying we're comparing you, them to the gonna, NBA. If you're going to compare Slava Medvedenko to Hakeem Olajuwon, Jaylen, he doesn't have a chance. You should if you're going to compare me yourself. to Magic Johnson, you should be ashamed you can of say, yourself, Jalen. Jalen, but, but everybody has naysayers, Stephen A. And so what will my naysayer say? Hold on, no, no, no. We're talking Hold on, What is he talking about? He's no Magic Johnson. All right. He doesn't Keep know talking. anything. Okay. Keep so talking. It works, all, it works both ways. Okay. So. I, I, we speak in fact. If you're seven feet tall... 270 pounds, you trying to tell me there is not some dudes in the NBA that's there strictly because of their size? What about you a got Brian Scalabrini? That's being utilized all day long that can't you play. You think Brian Scalabrini is in the league play. because... Did L.A. give up too much to get a guy who has been labeled soft? Is that a trick question? You tell me. They gave up Kwame Brown. You who first cares? rounders. I could, I could care less. I into it sound more importantly. Kwame Brown is gone. The city of Angels, Hollywood, just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever, plays no defense, doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this, oh, they hey. gave up too much? Please, the Los Angeles Lakers knew exactly what they were doing. They should be celebrate right now. In this particular instance, you keep those guys. You still have Fisher with Jordan Farmore. And on top of all of that, you give up Kwame Brown? Please, there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to even think about. But it doesn't matter because he's replacing Kwame Brown. And when you take it to the fact that you're replacing nothing, that makes you something, which is a plus. And that's the way to look at this situation. Kwame Brown, God bless him, is a scrub. He can't handle the ball, can't post up, can't do anything, can't play defense. The Lakers were struggling. They were mired, mired in complete disgust, knowing that they were on the brink of mediocrity 
anytime he was on the floor because he couldn't get it done. Now you've got Powell Gasol. You pair him with Andrew Bynum. You didn't give up Lamar Odom either, and you still got Fisher and Kobe? Please. This is a beautiful deal. Now call it whatever you want. If Kwame Brown ends up in this city wearing a New York Knicks uniform, actually allowed to parade the streets of New York as a member of one of the most storied franchises, I don't know what I will do. Oh, man. You go. You, you, you just start. You just, just goodbye, sorry, Shelby. Just just goodbye. Sorry. Sorry. Goodbye. Have a nice night. For today, bring Kwame Brown to this city. Kwame Brown. I, I, don't, know what I, I don't know what I'll do. And by the way, ESPN, don't even try to get me to do anything with it. I'll quit first. And I, can, I, can, I just cannot take. Can, I, 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 I just I, I can't take it. Just the thought of it makes me stutter. Yeah. Roy Hibbert. Good Lord, I can't. I, I'm trying to be nice. Skip Bayless. Roy Hibbert looks worse than Kwame Brown. I, oh boy. That's I can't believe yes, it is. that I'm saying that. Boy, I, I can't believe I'm saying that. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I cannot believe. But cool. Kwame Brown had the disadvantage of small hands, small feet. Yeah. Coming out of high school, wasn't taught the game. Yeah. He's got all of these excuses. Roy Hibbert, 7'2", big hands, big feet, went to Georgetown, had a couple of post moves that appeared at least last year in the playoffs. It sure did. Okay? Was a, a defense, one of the runner, a runner up for defensive player to get all this. He, he can't seem to do anything right. I, I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And I hate it. I hate saying that because I like him so much, man. But it, 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 it just hurts to watch these guys. So you're saying that Roy Hibbert has now replaced Kwame Brown as your symbol of ineptitude in the NBA, right? As a big man? Yeah. That's what you're saying. Oh, boy. And, and yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, I can't. What am I going to say? Nothing. I can't believe it. Okay. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Okay. Voila, here is my team. And I'm going to have you read the names for me. Could you read my four teammates? Oh, my <laughs> God. I, just in honor of you, I, I want you to read the four Tiago Splitter, <laughs> Rosho Nostarevich, <laughs> Kwame <laughs> Brown, <laughs> and Slava Medvedenko. Uh -huh. It's Stanislav, actually. Oh, get the Stanislav oh my God. That is, you, that's a joke on me. No, that, no that, it's that not. That is a joke True. on me. No, that, that team could beat anybody because it's got Michael Jordan on it. You went through a couple of years struggling big time before ultimately Phil came back, and then you got Paul Gasol in that trade for Kwame Brown. That's what happened. Don't get me started with Kwame Brown. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I'll lose my mind. <laughs> just said that. I mean, that's just blasphemy. You should apologize for bringing that up. And when I look at somebody, you have an opportunity to make millions of dollars playing a game for a couple of hours a day. You can't maximize that to the greatest of your ability and make it happen? You can't do that? That's inexcusable, bro. It just is. Again, if you're a scrub, you're a scrub. But in five years from now, you're still doing it. We got a problem. That's a major problem. You have nothing else to do. I come here not better. <laughs> How are you in the league for 10 years and you're still the same scrub you were in 2001? 
I have a problem with that. Before Kwame Brown got traded, I went to the Lakers game at the Staples Center. And it was a moment where they were up comfortably. So Phil Jackson decides to call Kwame Brown's number on five consecutive plays. That doesn't happen. Kobe doesn't get his name called on five consecutive offensive plays. He did that for Kwame Brown. First play, he bounced it off his foot. Turnover. <laughs> Second play, turn around, jump shot, air ball. <laughs> Third play, he got stripped. And then he got bruised. Fourth play, jump hook, air ball. <laughs> Fifth play, he just gave it up to the referee like he knew he was going to turn. Kwame Brown. He's no Kwame Brown. He's no Slava Medvedenko. He's not one of those guys, a Rosh Nasterovich. He's none of those guys.